Geometry, number 151. Layout of a proof, isosceles trapezoid, congruent diagonals. Okay, I've done a lot of drawings around here, and I'll explain them in a second. This is our main drawing. It originally was like this, but it's become this, and I'll show you why. Here's our given. ABCD is an isosceles trapezoid. Okay, this is an isosceles trapezoid. I've got it wide on top and narrow on the bottom, but these are parallel. These are congruent. Okay, that's the given. Lines AC and BD are diagonals. Okay, so AC and BD are diagonals. These blue X's in the middle. Okay, we need to prove that line AC is congruent to DB. We need to prove that line AC is congruent to DB. The diagonals are congruent. That's what we need to prove. So originally the drawing was sort of like this. This is a sloppy version because I did it really quick. But before you begin doing this proof, you need to mark up the drawing with the given info. So it was originally like this, and it said AC and BD are diagonals. There's nothing drawn here. Well, you need to do it yourself, okay? Usually you need to do it yourself. So put your diagonals in, okay? So we can get rid of this drawing so we can free up the board a little bit and not confuse you so much. So we know that that line is congruent to that line and that these diagonals are there, okay? So here we go. ABCD is an isosceles trapezoid. That's given. See it? Okay, that's an isosceles trapezoid. AC and BD are diagonals. Okay? So number two, I've got angle DAB. DAB, that's this angle up here, okay, is congruent to ABC, to ABC. So it's saying, okay, look, that these two top corner ones are congruent, okay? My reasoning is, Angles opposite congruent sides are congruent. So that's congruent to that, okay? Now, AC and DB are diagonals. That was given. AC and BD are diagonals. Line AB is congruent to line AB. This line is congruent to itself. That's reflexive property. That's in video number 27 if you need a refresher, okay? So... It mirrors itself. It's reflexive, okay? Number five, triangle ACD is congruent to BCD, okay? ACD is congruent to BCD. That's side angle side. That's the side angle side is in video number 101, but it's basically saying that if you were to split this apart, that that triangle is congruent to that triangle, okay? And the reasoning is side angle side, okay? That's congruent to that, that's congruent to that, which means that angle is congruent to that one, side angle side, okay? So the last thing we write is that line AC is congruent to DB, which is what we're trying to prove. AC is congruent to DB, all right? AC is congruent to DB or BD because of CPCTC which is in video number 112. That's corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. Now, you must, 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 must prove that triangles are congruent before using CPCTC, okay? Basically, and I explain this in video number 112, it's like saying the legs of a four-legged elephant totals four. Well, before you can say it's a four-legged elephant, you have to prove it's a four-legged elephant. Either you label them or count them or do something to prove that it's a four-legged elephant before you can even make this comment, okay? You have to prove it has four legs first, and then yes, of course, it will total four. And I know it sounds silly, why would you need to prove it if you're stating it here, but this is an after statement, okay? So that's the layout of a proof for an isosceles trapezoid with congruent diagonals. I hope that I've been some help. You should keep plugging with your geometry if you have to rewatch the video, do so, pause it, look things up, figure it out. Geometry teaches you how to think. And the one thing that you will learn out of this is the power of thinking 
and solving and solutions, problem solving, that's very important in, in your life. So if you can do problem solving better than someone else, you're going to have a step up on them and you're going to do, end up doing better than them. So keep plugging away. You'll do fine. Rewatch videos as much as you need to. And I'm rooting for you. See you next video. It's going to be about kites and their diagonals.